Hey, this is Patrick from Frontly. Today, I'm excited to announce our brand new drag and drop page builder. So we've added the feature that everybody's been wanting for a long time, which is the ability to visually drag items around within your page. And I'm just gonna jump right into the demo so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you look at my page, I'm gonna start by just adding a row. This is just a horizontal container that I can put any other items in. Now, with the new page builder, drag and drop, I can just click on, let's say, a button, and when I start to drag, I have a few different options. If I hover over the background of the page, you can see that the outside becomes a dashed border, and that shows me that I can drop this right into the background, and it would be just like if I added it to the page. So if I do that, it'll just go somewhere on the page. Um, but if instead, let me delete that block, if I want to put it somewhere specifically, I can do that. So when I hover over another block while I'm dragging, I'll see this blue bar appear to show me where it's going to appear on the page relative to the other items. So in this case, the bar at the top tells me it's going to be positioned above that item in the in the block hierarchy. And if I go down to the bottom bar here, you can see it's going to go below. Now, if I want it to go inside this row, then I have to place it in the middle, and that's what this indicator means. So I'll do that, and now you can see my button is inside this row. So just to make it a little more visually obvious, I'm going to add a background, and I'm going to add some padding to this row. Now we just have a little more space to show off this feature. So I'm gonna add, well, first I'm gonna change the background color of this button, just so it's a little more obvious. Now I'm gonna add another button, but in this case, I wanna add this button beside this other button. So you can see, just like the container over here, we have this blue indicator that's showing me where I'm dropping it. If I wanna put it to the left side of this button, I can just drop it right there. Now that I've dropped it, I can still just click and I can drag it and put it wherever I want. So this is essentially, um, you know, infinite what I can do with this now. I can start adding other containers. So let me add a column inside here. I can add a few more buttons and now I can have some fun dragging things around and really just um, a huge improvement to our page builder in terms of speed building pages, and especially if you have some complex uh, row column setups where you have lots of rows inside each other, uh, it gets a little complicated and the new drag and drop builder pretty much solves that, I think. So let's, let's try moving some stuff around. So I wanna move this button into my row. So I can do that. I can move this button inside this column and I can move it in a very specific spot or if I just drop it, um, somewhere like on the left or right, then it's actually gonna move it just to the other side of the column inside the, the container. So it might take a few minutes to just get used to how these blue bar indicators work and, and what they mean for where the, the block is gonna be dropped. But I think once you get used to it, you'll really appreciate the flow that you can have with building pages. So I'm gonna jump to a slightly more complicated page, which is this dashboard, this responsive analytics dashboard that I created. It's got a ton of items on it, and this is the kind of um, the kind of page that I think would be previously very difficult to work with. Uh, so let's let's just, I as you can see, I closed my styles tab and the settings tab, so I could just have this full page, um, all this space to drag things around. And that's one of the real benefits here is you don't have to have the sidebar open just to move stuff around. So um, yeah, let's let's just say I wanna take this profit margin chart and I just wanna swap it, well not swap it, but I wanna put it to the right side. So I'm just gonna click and drag. You can see I can, I can insert it. If I put it here, it won't move because it's still staying in this spot. If I put it right here, it's gonna swap places with this gross margin and I can, uh, yeah, I can start really moving things around. If I want, I can even take this entire column, I think this is in, no, this is a row. So I can take this entire row and drag it and put it somewhere over here. Maybe I wanna put it um, between these two. And obviously there are repercussions of where you drag and drop things, but uh, it's pretty, pretty quick now to just move things around. So you can really start to build these more elaborate layouts and hopefully with ease. Um, so, 
one thing that uh, I want to show you is I'm going to go back to my I'm going to go back to my test page here. So I'm going to open the page settings and I'm going to click. Oh, I'm going to open the styles as well. So there's a new setting here that is kind of helpful uh, while you're in the builder mode. It won't change anything in the live app, so you don't have to worry about that. But it's called, uh, well, design mode is the section. And this first setting is called show layout grid lines. So when you turn that on, you can see these very subtle lines. It might not even be that obvious in this video because they're very subtle, but each row and column, just the rows and columns have a little dotted outline around them in light gray just to visualize for you um, exactly what's going on. So let me add another row inside this uh, column and I'll drag a text block in there and I'll drag a button in there. Um, so when I deselect it and I put my grid lines on, there you go. So I've got I've got my column and my row and it makes it a little more uh, obvious what's going on. And there's also a new setting called add visible padding, which all it does, again, only for the admin mode, is it just automatically forces there to be, I think it's a 10 pixel, maybe 15, uh, 10 pixel padding around the outsides of the rows and columns. So again, it just helps you see the separation because in this case, without that, um, it's harder to tell exactly where the row starts and where the column begins and, and, and whatnot. So you can turn those on. Just one more tool in your uh, tool belt for building apps quickly and easily with Frontly. Um, I highly suggest you play around with it and build some really cool layouts and please share them with the community because we're all excited to see what you build. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.